it is vlogmas don't ask me to date which vlogmas because we behind but it's not a point um eye contact y'all let's talk about it okay because it can be useful it can be a dead giveaway honestly depending on how you want to look at it and depending on what side of the fence you're on so don't forget to subscribe and let's get in tune with this knowledge what's up youtube hello guys and i am back with another video it's your girl amaria in case you don't know let's like comment share subscribe tell me your favorite color guys how are you doing today okay listen you saw that title let's talk about it the topic of discussion today is going to be eye contact so it's definitely knowledge that is good to learn you know for people who may not know it or people who may not notice so don't forget to subscribe and let's get to it so something very important to know and something very good to start off with i want you to understand that you don't have to look anybody in the eye if you don't want to okay a lot of people use that as a power technique or you know a lot of people use it as a way to intimidate people that they know aren't aren't used to the eye contact um you know during conversations and things and honestly you don't have to do anything you don't want to do and i know a lot of times when i was younger um it would be like older people telling me well uh, look me in my eyes or you're not talking to me if you're not looking in my eyes at the end of the day sometimes you can kind of see the, the bulge in people's eyes so you don't want to look you know and that is okay so just be mindful of that and when it comes to jobs interviews conversations really um everything it's very good to understand that eye contact can be used for many different reasons okay and in saying that don't forget that like i said in the beginning a lot when it comes to just de really depending on your age but i've really seen it in like you know older people doing it is like they tend to feel like it's a it's a sign of you know disrespect when you're not looking at somebody in the eye when they're talking listen in some place i don't know how it is in some places but i do know that at the end of the day when it comes to people and trauma and just anxiety if something makes you uncomfortable don't do it because like i said a lot of times you don't want to look somebody in the eye because there's something that you see in their eyes it's a problem okay so keep that in mind all right Okay, y'all, so we're going to try with this lighting. Don't talk about where I got it from. We're figuring this out, all right? I wanted to do have a little different background. But you saw that title, eye contact, all right? It can be a dead giveaway or it can help you in a conversation. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for 500 subscribers. And I will be coming with some more lit videos and a giveaway at 1K. If you're ever having a conversation with somebody and they start getting shifty and they can't look you in your eyes, they're lying. Or there's something that they don't want you to know. They're omitting the truth, okay? So, do your digging. Inspect the gadget, okay? Because at the end of the day, eye contact is a dead giveaway, baby. Dead giveaway. Especially when you are a person who is spiritual or you are a very observant person. My Capricorns, my Taurus, my Aquarius, baby. We be seeing and we be knowing, okay? So pay attention to that. Pay attention to eye contact. Body language is another thing, but eye contact, guys. If they can't look at you, <laughs> they hiding something from you. All right. Always use moments where you first meet people to try to, you know, get to know them. First impressions are real, guys, and a lot of times people have their masks down when they first meet when they first meeting you. So you're able to read into things that they may want to, you know, put a wall up, you know with you know later on down the line so it's very important to make sure you're being very observant with people in the beginning and throughout the relationship okay because like i said when you can catch them lacking you know what they really think if you're in an interview guys it is very important maintain a certain level of eye contact because a lot of times employers want to look for somebody who's compassionate employers want to look for somebody who's not scared and who's not intimidated because a lot of times if you look like a pushover and if you're working in retail it's probably not gonna work so at the end of the day let your interviewer know or let the you know employer know that hey i'm here for this job this is what i want to do this is what i'm gonna do I'm the best fit for you. Thank you so much for having me. Okay? So definitely keep that mindset. And I promise you, you're going to get that job. Don't worry about it. You're going to get it. Okay? 
there are people in this world with the ability to be able to convey an entire conversation just with their eyes. You can really level up your conversations by 10, honestly, when you learn how to use your body language and your eyes to not only convey what you want to say, but how you feel and to, you know, persuade your audience if needed. Um, it's not manipulation. It's knowing how to be social, honestly, because a lot of people do it without knowing. A lot of people do it with hella practice and a lot of people do it purposely to manipulate you. So it's always good to make sure that you are adding on to your skills and your arsenal so that honestly, you're not, you know, blind when it comes to the world, because there's a lot of things that other people won't teach you, but that's what I'm here for. This is Amari with the tips, tricks, and tea. So catch you later. Don't forget to subscribe.